global pollinator populations are declining. And so um, team four of ECE 477 um, has decided to create a pollinating bee drone to help mitigate that problem. So basically what our drone does is flies up to um, apple blossom flowers and then touches them with an appendage and then flies to other flowers to cross pollinate. Um, and we hope that this will help um, to stabilize the global food supply and be used in um, a more broad application in the future. Hi, I'm Moise Rashid. I'm a senior in computer engineering. Uh, my role on the team is I'm the team lead, so I just make sure everyone's we're meeting deadlines. Uh, on the technical side of things, I am responsible with communicating with the drone flight hardware uh, with the Mavlink protocol. And we have it set up here right now. Uh, it just uses UART, so right now it's just, I'm just, we're just, just busy debugging my messages with the oscilloscope here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm a senior in computer engineering. I'm the software lead for the project. I've been working on communication protocols between the Jetson Nano and the STM, and also with uh, stereo depth perception. Hi, my name is Josh Panos. I'm a senior in electrical engineering. Uh, my role on the team is the hardware engineer, uh, and my primary technical responsibilities so far have been putting together a drone and then validating our PCB and getting that ready for manufacturing for eventual mounting on the drone interfacing between our various boards and controllers. Hi, I'm Jackie, and I'm a senior in electrical engineering. Um, I'm the systems engineer on the team, so um, I first started working with the Jetson Nano to do um, color blob detection and object detection. So we could identify flowers in a frame, and now I moved over to working on the STM so I can um, get the I2C peripheral and communicate with the battery monitor. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, access to lab space is fairly limited, so we opted to set up in the basement of the house I live. We brought in oscilloscope, an oscilloscope, several soldering irons, and a lot of test equipment that we uh, normally wouldn't have access to 24 hours a day. But this worked out really well and allowed us to prototype a lot of uh, components and we're having a great time. So all in all, you could say things are going pretty well for us. Uh, we're, re we're ready to order our PCB, we have communication with the drone, and all that's left is we gotta get stereo and then integrate everything together. Uh, you can follow our progress at engineering.purdue.edu slash 477grp4. We hope to see you there. Bye.